Hey guys, in today's video we will learn what DNS is and how it works. So, let's get started. DNS stands for Domain Name System. All computers on the internet, from your smartphone or laptop, find and communicate with one another by using numbers. These numbers are known as IP addresses. The Domain Name System, or simply DNS, it is more like the phone book of the internet. It lists domain names with their corresponding identifiers called IP addresses, instead of listing people's names with their phone numbers, or more specifically translates human-readable domain names to IP addresses, which computer understands. Humans access information online through domain names, like example.com. Web browsers interact through Internet Protocol. DNS translates domain names to IP addresses, so browsers can load internet resources such as text files, image, video, and music files. Would internet work without DNS? Well, if you know the website's IP address, you can simply type it in the browser, and DNS wouldn't play any role. However, if the number of websites increases, it becomes hard to remember the IP addresses. Each device connected to the internet has a unique IP address, which other machines use to find the device, like a street address is used to find a particular home. DNS servers eliminate the need for humans to memorize IP addresses, such as. There are four DNS servers involved in loading a web page. DNS Recursor. The Recursor can be thought of as a librarian who is asked to go find a particular book somewhere in a library. The DNS Recursor is a server designed to receive queries from client machines through applications such as web browsers. Typically the Recursor is then responsible for making additional requests in order to satisfy the client's DNS query. Root NAMA Server The root server is the first step in translating human-readable host names into IP addresses. And it can be thought of like an index in a library that points to different tracks of books. Typically it serves as a reference to other more specific locations. TLD NAMA Server The top-level domain server, think of as a specific rack of books in a library. This NAMA Server is the next step in the search for a specific IP address, and it hosts the last portion of a hostname, in example.com, the TLD server is com. Authoritative NAMA Server this final NAMA server works as a dictionary on a rack of books in which a specific name can be translated into its definition. The authoritative NAMA server is the last stop in the NAMA server query. If the authoritative name server has access to the requested record, it will then return the IP address for the requested host name back to the DNS recursor that made the initial request. Thank you for watching this far, if you liked the video, Please throw us some likes and share the video so that other people learn.